Easy Data Logger is a free software designed for ICP DAS users to easily and instantly build a SCADA system. With Easy Data Logger, we will show you how simple it is to quickly establish the SCADA environment. Before everything starts, we must do some preparation. First, we need a 24 volt power supply and two ET7000 modules. On your left side, ET7017 is a web-based I.O. module with analog input channels. On your right side, ET7052 is a web-based I.O. module with digital input and output channels. We also need to link a scope meter to ET7017 for analog input, a button, and LED lights to ET7052 for digital input and digital output signs. Just link all the devices together and it will be like this. Now we can start to run Easy Data Logger. Run the application and you'll see the built-in groups Traffic Light and Component on the left side. We're going to build a new group. Click Group Setup and then we can see the Group Setting window. Now we can see three steps here. By following the steps, we'll finish establishing this SCADA system. Let's start the first step. Click Install. The driver window will pop up. Here we have to set the communication mode between the modules and the PC. Since ET7000 modules communicate with the PC by TCP protocol, we choose Modbus TCP. Next, we have to enter the IP address of the module. You'll find the IP addresses in the manuals of ET7000 modules. In order to recognize the modules conveniently, we set the end of ET7017's IP address at 17. Click Install when the IP is entered. We find the IP of ET7017 we just entered is in the block of Step 1. This represents we have successfully added ET7017's driver. Follow the same steps to install the other module, ET7052. Choose Modbus TCP and enter the IP address. We will set the end of ET7052's IP address as 52 for convenient recognition. Here we can see that ET7052's driver has also been successfully added in the driver list. Now on to the second step. In this step, we're going to add ET7017 and ET7052 into the device list, which means that we're going to activate their channels. Click Add under the device list. The system shows the configuration window. Click the arrow and go to the next page. Here we can see the IP added for the Modbus TCP devices on your left side. Now we can give them nicknames. Attention! To prevent errors, we shall not use the minus sign in the nickname. We will name the ET-7017 module as ET-7017. Next, we have to set the address range definition. Since ET7017 has 8 analog input channels and 4 digital output channels, we set its AI addresses from 0 to 7 and DO addresses from 0 to 3. Click Add. And those channels are now in the AI and DO lists. Use the same method to activate the channels of ET7052. Name it. Set the DO from 0 to 7 and DI from 0 to 7. Click Add and those channels are now in the DI and DO lists. Let's check if all the channels have been activated.
Now it's time to build the group for our SCADA system. Click Add in the Work Group column. We will name the group as ET7000. Now we are going to do step 3. In this step, we can add the channels into the ET7000 group. Just choose the channels you want to add and click the Add below. For this demonstration, we will add all the channels into the group. You'll see all the added AI channels in this frame. Let's add the rest of the DI and DO channels into this group. ET7017 AI underscore zero is the channel that links into the scope meter and receives analog input signals from it. We have to configure the analog input parameters before the system is done. Choose ET underscore 7017 underscore AI underscore zero and click modify. We can see the modify channel window. Refer to the ET7000 user's manual and you'll understand how to set it. Click Modify to save the values. All three steps are finished. Press the Home button at the bottom right to get back to the main screen. Now we can see the ET7000 group on your right side. We can start running the group by clicking Start. At this moment, the red signs turn into green signs, which represents that the system is running successfully. Now it's showtime. Let's see what Easy Data Logger's got. Click Gauge in ET7000 group to enter the gauge window. The first one is the gauge for ET underscore 7017. When we change the value from the scope meter, we can see the gauge value changing with the scope meter at the same time. In less than five minutes, we set up an analog input data acquisition system. Easy Data Logger also provides trend recording, another convenient tool. Click Trend and select ET underscore 7017. The real time record will show immediately. Layout is also a great interface for controlling and monitoring digital input and digital output. We can use the cursor to control digital output here. When we click the on off button on the screen, the LED light, which links to the ET 7052's DO channel, turns on and off simultaneously. The digital input will also be shown on the frame promptly. When we switch the button, the layout shows whether the input is on or off. Let's go back to the trend. By selecting digital input channels into the monitored variables, their movement will instantly be shown. is the most important thing Easy Data Logger does. Before that, we have to stop the system. Click Open Database. Choose which database and group you want, and then we can load trends or tables from the database. By clicking the export button, you can also export the table into Excel files for further analysis.